Hi everyone, Rabbi Rosen here, greeting you on a usually warm and muggy autumn afternoon and hoping that this Shabbat that will soon be with us will be a very wonderful one for you. We are reading this week the portion of Noah, Noah and the Flood. It's a section that has personal meaning for us as on this particular Shabbat of Noah in 1997, our son Dani became a bar mitzvah. And at that time, my teacher, Rabbi Joel Zaman of Blessed Memory, honored us by joining us here and offering the image that what we are here in this world to do is to create shelter for each other during the storms of life. It's an important and a noble task to be sure. When we look at a portion like this, at the same time, however, we are struck by something that is really, truly both beautiful and somewhat challenging. The ark that Noah builds into which all of the animals are placed along with his family is something that truly does provide shelter from the storm. In fact, the only other time that the Hebrew word for ark, teva, is used is with the description of the little basket into which baby Moses is placed so that he might be saved from Pharaoh's murderous decrees. That major ark of Noah and that little ark, that little basket that where Moses was placed, share something in common. They both protect those inside, but they are without a rudder. They are certainly at the mercy of the currents of the water on which they stand. But there is another element to this, and that is the reality that the word for ark and for basket, teva, also means simply word. And especially at a time in which we are spending a great deal of time in our own personal shelters, it's worth pursuing the power of that idea. We are able to create meaningful shelters, protective shelters, shelters that have a sense of purpose and direction by the nature of the words we speak within them the tone of understanding, the capacity to listen to the words of others, our own ability to reach out or to be contacted by others should we find ourselves alone so that words can come into our lives to comfort and to heal. We are also told by tradition that Shabbat especially, but throughout the week, words, words of Torah, ought to be shared so that we can be challenged by the ideas, the meanings, the power of our tradition. So even if we find ourselves in shelters a great deal of the time, we can not only feel protected, but by using tevot, the words that we utter within those shelters, we can find our own sense of grounding, a sense of purpose, and knowing where we might go in this world. Shabbat Shalom. I wish everyone a very special weekend, a very special Shabbat, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care, everybody.